never help, and I am excited. You have really fall back. The one that I want to go out with is probably number three because he sounds white. Damn, you guys are black. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. You hear that hunger clap? <laughs> You hear that hunger clap? And here's my thoughts, ladies. If God didn't want you to cook, then why did he naturally put milk and eggs in your body? <laughs> Women are not allowed to be bad moms, but dads are allowed to be bad dads and then come back and turn around and then they'll be angels for the very little that they offer, you know? Yeah. And I feel like women are not allowed that same opportunity to be bad parents or to learn. I feel like women that are bad moms get more, like, hate. Because they're like, how could you? You're not, yeah, that's, you're, you're a yeah. mother. If a man can't afford his kids, he gets called a deadbeat and gets thrown in jail. If a woman can't afford her kids, she gets government assistance. We literally enable women to be bad mothers sometimes. So not only is she wrong, but also fighting for the right to be a bad parent is a crazy take. You don't find that suspicious? You gonna show her twerking? You gonna show her with some heels on? If she got a pretty face and none of that stuff, you gonna show nothing but a whole bunch of glamour shots? It's gonna show you everything that they tell you that a man shouldn't want. You should want me for my brain. But all your pictures is angled to show your ass. You ain't said nothing smart on here. So I'm supposed to look at the ass be like this. I want how smart she is. There's something more to her. <laughs> and I want to figure it yeah. out. How to settle for a bitch. Guys, if you fuck around enough, you're going to find out that bitches who are fine and bitches who ain't fine, they act completely different. <laughs> Everybody want a bad bitch till they get one. And then you're going to find out that these bitches are high maintenance, they hard headed. And they act like goddamn kids. So Get you a woman who know how to treat a man. These are going to be your fat bitches and your ugly bitches. Because they know it's going to be consequences for their actions. Facts. Now, don't just hey. snatch up any fat bitch you see. She got to deserve it. <laughs> if you get you a fat bitch, try to get you one that don't sit down and work all day. Just because she big, don't mean she need to get bigger. <laughs> also, make sure she can get your dick hard. That's very important. If you get you an ugly bitch, try to make sure you get one who's an introvert. Ugly bitches who like to travel is a no-no. <laughs> and also, make sure she can feed you. Guys, I don't know. It could just be me, but the worse she looks, the better she cooks. Game is game. Flag on the play. I just counted three red flags in 30 seconds. One, when she says this is what I mean, that means this isn't the first time she's insulted him. Two, she's willing to insult him in front of other people and gossip about their relationship behind his back. Three, whenever she's upset or experiences a minor inconvenience, she goes straight to insults and verbal abuse. I would tell him to run for the hills, but if he's at a baby shower, it's probably already too late. Gotcha. Gotcha. But if you have an Android phone, <laughs> a red flag. <laughs> you have an Android? No. You just nice. Sound like you're 12. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm, that, that's a common thing. A lot of people. I know. Own. A lot of women sound like they're 12 so when they true. say that. So true. My nigga. <laughs> Unpopular opinion. We live in a world where a man has to be financially stable just to date a broke woman. He not wrong. <laughs> Feel somewhat more like. Yeah, cool. Like, well, it makes you feel more secure in yourself. I wouldn't say secure. <laughs> It'd be like, all right, less guys as touch her. You know what I mean? Like, she's like my precious. Old. She just said something really interesting, and I think mm -hmm. that's worth noting. She mm -hmm. said it makes you feel more secure about yourself, and that's mm -hmm. a gaslighting technique. And if you want, I can really mm -hmm. dig into this one. Yeah, go, go ahead. ahead. Because go she's like, nah, because because it. because she's saying like, well. If you've, you know, with a woman that has had less partners, it means that, you know, you're just insecure being with a woman with a very high body count, right? Mm -hmm. But that's actually shifting the blame and the accountability of your behavior on him. It's not his behavior that caused that, right? Now, biologically, men are predisposed to do what? To reproduce. And for that, we need to have a paternity guarantee. That's right. why That's why we want, that's why virgins are very highly valued through history. We want a guarantee of paternity. We want to make sure the kids are our kids, Right. And we know that after what the five partners pair bonding basically drops, and that's yeah. a vast suppressing chemical thing Actually, to get the into biggest, that. The biggest drop is from um, like one to two. Yes, it's like it's like eighty percent. It depends on the. Then study. after five, it starts to drop again. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, five is like 
Uh, it's like no, like gone, you know, mm-hmm. gone yeah. forever. But like one to two, it goes from like eighty percent to like forty yeah. percent. Yeah. Go so it's like, it. so it's like, yeah, you're insecure because you wouldn't take a chick with a high body count. That just sounds like a chick with a high body count doesn't want to doesn't want to take accountability for her actions. But as a man, we know the pair bonding decreases with a woman that has a high body count. We also know there's a significantly higher opportunity, or actually a chance for her to cheat. Because when women cheat, if you actually look hist- like at the data who they cheat with, it's usually somebody they slept with in the past. There's a, she's an alpha widow. She's really? Got some, of course, yeah. yeah. Really? That makes perfect. Yeah, of course. Where did you find that? I didn't never. I've never. Uh, heard we, yeah, that. we can get into that. I oh. got some books you can read, right? Because it's like a woman for her to start a new relationship with a man. She's not doing it for the sex. She's doing it to leave the relationship. Women cheat to leave relationships. Right. There's a lot of data to actually back it up, right? I agree. The data yeah. to back it up is very simple. A woman's yeah. propensity to cheat drops significantly with the income of her partner. The richer her husband, the less a woman cheats. And this has been proven over and over and over and over and over. Most of the cheating, there's about 20% of women that are, you know, statistically shown to be cheating in their marriages. Overwhelmingly, those are swayed towards men that are earning below average incomes versus, versus men with higher incomes tend to cheat more, but their wives tend to cheat significantly less. So why do women cheat? Acquisition of resources. Why do men cheat? Spread the seed paternity, right? Mm. Because men have more opportunities with a higher income. So it's like, well, you don't want a woman with low body counts because you're insecure in yourself. No, that you're insecure in yourself and you want to blame the man for it. And that's just like a really toxic behavior. Exactly. That's like me saying you don't want to date an abusive man because you're not a strong woman. If you were a strong woman, an abusive man wouldn't intimidate you. It's crazy that people have to go to school for eight plus years to get a doctorate just to tell us stuff that we kind of already know innately. Men biologically throughout all of human history have valued women with lower body counts for relationship longevity and paternity reasons. But the world has become so ass backwards in just the last 60 years that if you want a woman with a low body count, you're misogynistic and if you want a woman that's a virgin you're just insane the burden of performance on men is so heavy that the world would rather tell men to change their biology than tell women to change their behavior (laughs) the girl in the next clip got exposed for lying so make sure you watch the whole thing it's hard because it's actually my ex-boyfriend left me for that. He said, I hate your social media. I hate what you're doing. I hate you're getting giving these guys attention. I hate that like, you're getting attention from these guys. Damn. So Be smart. after everything I did for him, and I actually, like, so I was at a point when I had Bryce Hall, I have fucking, uh, what's his name? Josh Richards. I have all of the, like, big influencers texting me, and I ignore it because of him. I feel like, at the end of the day, it's controlling. Mm-hmm. And... If you don't want to be with that girl because she's getting all this attention because she's a body because she's this, then don't be with her. Go, Queen. Who's the most famous person you have in your contacts? Bryce Cole. How do you know him? He DM'd me. Hi. All right. Um, I'm going to try to make this dramatic. This you? Dun, dun, dun. She tried to act like he was being thirsty and my boy left her on red. As an Instagram model, the only thing easier than getting DM'd by a celebrity is lying about getting DM'd by a celebrity to make yourself seem more special. And to add insult to injury, Myron debunked all of her claims and put her in a coffin. Let me ask you a question. So, like, he told you, he was honest with you and he told you what he did, liked and didn't like? Yeah, at the start of the relationship, yeah. Okay, and you said that he's insecure? No, I start, I say that now because after everything I did... Okay, was, you think he was insecure. insecure. Let me ask you a question. Who's more secure? Someone who tells you the truth and doesn't care what happens or someone who doesn't say anything to you because they're scared of what could happen? The first option. Someone who tells you the truth. So I would argue your boyfriend was very secure. He told you the truth and didn't care about the consequences. He told me the truth because he wanted me to, like, stop. But that means he's secure. Yeah. He's insecure because he's... By your own definition. Well... Gotcha, bitch! No! I'm in love with God. <laughs> Todd, wingman, Arkansas State University, Wu P. Hey, thank you. Hey. No, 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 no. I guess everything free when you fast. She was moving in slow motion. If I hire security and he let her get away, what is he even here for? You're fired! Being a housewife is not a reward. Being a woman of leisure is a reward. But that's the same thing. No, they're not. No, they're not. If you're a woman of leisure, if you are a woman of leisure, you don't have responsibilities. Your responsibility is being 
a woman of leisure. If you are a housewife, you maintain and you manage the house. That's not a fucking reward. It's a job. Whether it's only 20 hours a week is still a job. If there's no kids, if, if, you, if, about if you're trying to reward me because I was there through the tough times, let me be a woman of leisure. Let me be a kept woman. That is a reward. Rewarding me with washing dishes is not a fucking reward. They call her the cat lady. So basically you want to be a pet. Imagine being a mom and ditching your kids because you'd rather go to the mall because they're too much responsibility. To be honest, you're too short for me. Mm -hmm. Where, where, you, where you think the rest of the inches went? Mm. Oh, I, mm. <laughs> I just told you who I thought I was. A god. My nigga. <laughs> this is the last time I let my wife spot me. What the fuck was that Let's say you had a man and he wanted you to dress more modestly coming to Countdown, what would you tell him? No. Never change for a man. No. Do you? And if he's too I have insecure, if he's too insecure, that's on him. I have a man. He's not here, and I'm still dressed in the way I want to be. Now let's say, let's say you guys are like serious, and it's been about a year, and he's the one, and he's like, baby, I would really appreciate it if you cover up. What would you tell him? Um, then he definitely wouldn't be the one because why is he still telling me what to wear and how to dress? Yeah. I, I think I would probably break up with him. I say yeah. single for a reason. Jesus can't save these hoes. Why are you trying? This is your daily reminder to get your ass in the gym. It's time to turn that dad bod into a father figure. Y'all seen bro in the second video, he went from where's my pickles to handsome Squidward. And I get it, if you don't wanna go to the gym, the gym isn't for everybody, but neither is success having a strong heart and being an absolute sex symbol. You only have one life, so why not push your body to the limit and be the person you know you have the power to be? Make sure you get to the gym today. You owe it to yourself. And be a alpha male, not a beta male. So both Charlene and I, in the span of a week, invited men over and on separate occasions, okay? And at the time, we didn't have a TV stand. We were working on getting one, okay? But both of these men had something to say about our TV being on the floor. So you know what we did? Immediately bought a TV stand. Period. Then we got another man to come over and put together the TV stand. Because he's a real man that built shit and minds his business. He brought his own toolbox. Didn't ask for nothing, got a glass of water, was respectful the entire time. Shout out to him. He got snacks too. We're not like on hospital. He got snacks. He gave him some snacks. Yeah. But he didn't ask for anything in exchange is the point. Because he genuinely wanted to help. And that's why men like that win in life. Period. Shout out to you, Raw Vintage. Bro came to the house and did manual labor for a Lunchable. And these are the same girls that are sleeping with guys that are leaving them on red. Guys, stop doing things for women without reciprocation of value. Because the first time it's a favor, but the second time it becomes an expectation. Um, excuse me, I didn't ask for whipped cream. Oh, you didn't ask for whipped cream? Mm -mm. Did you say that at the register? Yeah. Okay, so that means that this isn't your fucking drink. So if you could, kindly sit your ass Whoa. down and okay. I will call you when your drink is ready. Okay. Mm -hmm. We all date, right? And like the fact that I have dated six people at the same time and you know, maybe one of us has dated six people at different times, what really what's the difference? You have seen and slept with the same amount of people, the timeline was just So different. the difference is that it sounds like an excuse to get ran through. I, think I mean, that's like a really disgusting term and I think that <laughs> also um, that's kind of a really like harsh thing to say to women because you would only say that really to a woman right you wouldn't say that to a dude so well, I, I mean it's a little different but a man could also be sure but like you wouldn't i i wouldn't sit here and say that to you if you told me you were seeing six people i'd be like great good for you what i didn't own is the fact that you called me run through which i think is rude and also well, the fact so that i didn't was that me it that doesn't matter. That but, might have been but either way you repeated it and also the well, fact the truth, oh, Brian. I, I disagree with you <laughs> well, I he not wrong. <laughs> Man, you know, 
Got that dog shit on me. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> what? <laughs> you got all that money, and you wouldn't buy me the hundred dollar pair of slides I wanted. The fuck is you talking about? I asked you to buy me the slides in there. They're Versace, and you said no. I'm not gonna buy you those. I don't have no money. And you gonna pull out that fat ass wad of cash? Yeah, I like don't that? got no money for you. Who the fuck is you, bitch? I'm not big. You can, bro. You ain't a. And no. then I asked you, bro, can we go eat? You said yeah, but you gonna have to pay for your own meal. Okay, I don't give a fuck, bitch. That's, That's what I look crazy. like. Yo, sugar daddy, I don't no, got but it. But you got all that fucking money. He's talking about I don't got it. I don't got it for this bitch. <laughs> all right. Get out. All right. Get out. Get out. Get out. What the fuck is you talking about? The fuck is this bitch? Hey, boy. <laughs> Beat it, bitch. <laughs> You was doing all that talking, now you walking. Guys, it's 2023, so we gotta get our finances right. That means we gotta set financial goals. And if you're dealing with a woman that doesn't respect your financial goals, she's not thinking in the long term. So she probably doesn't even wanna be with you in the long term. She just wants to spend your money. Kick her to the curb. She belongs to the streets. Are you fucking crazy? Don't fucking pull up beside us. Oh, oh, oh what the? F <laughs> Got him. According to the comments, she cut the guy off in traffic. Now, I definitely don't agree with what he did, but we all know in traffic, when you mess up, you keep your eyes forward. When they look at you as they drive by, you keep your eyes forward because you know you messed up. Don't antagonize him or you're going to get a little road rage. Now you're wearing a McFlurry. What's your name? Cameron. Kalisha. Would you marry the last person you slept with? Nah. Fuck you, Cameron. Oh. He's a fucking cunt. Why? Because I f***ed him. Hung, 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 hung. Bow, 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 bow. My boy Kevin a menace. Little does she know she wasn't the last person he slept with. Here's the cover! Pump in the leg! He did it! He did it! I was scrolling through TikTok Live the other day and I found the most beautiful female I ever laid my eyes on. She only got like 50 viewers. I start commenting. I'm getting ignored crazy. Somebody in the comments said, oh my God, that's Bastion. She's like, who's Bastion? She clicks on my account. He has 500K followers on TikTok. Now she on my She's like, oh my gosh, join TikTok battle, TikTok battle. I say, yo, what's TikTok battle? How am I battle you on TikTok? The chat starts saying, people send gifts as a form of battling. It's not even battling. You're begging. I said, miss, I'm not finna join so I could do a beg battle with you. You have a better chance of going outside and asking for money. The girl ended up following me. I didn't follow her back. She only wanted to follow me because of the followers. And we don't do those. Ah! <laughs> yo, my dick. Yo, Alexa. Alexa. See on my dick because I'm up now. <laughs> I try to tell y'all all the time. I used to be a professional athlete, so I've been around these Instagram models and TikTok stars. Most of these people are broke. That's why they're always begging. That's why they're always trying to stay relevant. That's why they're always doing OnlyFans. Age don't mean nothing because my boyfriend just turned 20, and he's taught me so much more, and I'm 27. And I met uh, you're him a cougar. He, I met him when he was <laughs> 20. I met, I met him when he was 17. Weak. FBI, open up! Let's be honest, if the roles were reversed, we know the guy would be under the prison. I'd be curious to know if you've seen this latest TikTok trend. The triangle method. The triangle method. When you're flirting with someone, you look at their eyes and then their mouth and then back at their eyes. It's a way to show someone that you're into them. Do you struggle with that though, with the lazy eyes? I knew that was coming. Are you flirting with me or him? I'm trying to... <laughs> <laughs> I may not be the best looking guy here, but I am the only one talking to you. <laughs> <That's crazy. laughs> what do you reckon? That's awesome. I love yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. I love it. <laughs> I reckon 85 of you are gonna go out and use that after this. Get her grinning, she'll drop her linen. Hey, Bucky. Yes, sir. You know why women close their eyes during sex? Yes, sir, I sure do, because they can't stand to see a man have a good time. That's a true statement. Absolutely. Your previous partner said you should come with a warning sign. <laughs> Stay clear. Yes. In what way? What, what's the reason? Why, why because should you I don't take rubbish. Sign? You said that you're having trouble dating. Why? In what way? 
number one, obviously, I'm a very attractive woman. Number two, I look very young. Number three, I'm very fun, and I'm not your typical 44-year-old woman of four children. So I'm finding that younger guys are messaging me, wanting to take me out, but they just want me because I'm hot. I need to maybe lower my standards, but I'm saying no because I have the advantage of looking good. It's about personality as, as well. I need the full, the full package. I need to be stimulated in my mind. Every part of me needs to be feeling like a princess every day. But I'm not wouldn't... gonna live my life with someone that I'm not attracted to. I could get a rich man, but money does not buy me happiness. Mm. Physical contact buys me happiness. A hug, embracing, love. This is what I am. This, I can't help it, yeah. this is in my DNA. Maybe that's why you're single. They call her the cat lady. Those younger men are not messaging you because they want to marry a 44-year-old woman with four kids. They're messaging you because they think that you're an easy kill. You want a high-value man, but all you got to offer is great value box. Fuck Old Navy. Sorry, I'm in a mood today. If you don't know, Old Navy launched their body equality campaign, which is like all plus sizes in their stores, all for the same price as standard sizing. Um, they've canceled that. They've canceled it. Less than a year later, they are removing plus sizes from over 70 stores, I think 72 stores. So they've cashed in on this body positivity, body equality movement. Not gonna lie, it'd be a lot of the fat hoes talking. You, you fat bitches need to shut the fuck up. Yeah, they were probably losing money because it takes more material to make plus size stuff. She played herself when she genuinely thought that a corporation whose sole purpose is to make profit actually cared about fat activism. Yo, you yeah. know the reason behind why a girl sells her sexuality? Go ahead. You know? It's profitable. <laughs> because, like, of course, you yeah. don't have other options to make money. So that's why you do that. For example, there's no options to make other money. Of course, yeah, you can get a job that pays you, yeah. you know, less money, but that gives you more money. Okay. So, so, question for you: If I decide to sell drugs and I get arrested and they put me in jail, whose fault is it? Your fault. It's my fault, right? Yeah. Because I broke the law. So if you decide to be on OnlyFans and sell your sexuality and people don't respect you or take you seriously, whose fault is that? Exactly. Honestly, I don't think I like that. Well, the, like, well, okay. It he doesn't. Might here's be the thing. Like hold on, stop, 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 stop. It doesn't matter what you think. Society is going to think that they want to think the way they think, and unfortunately, when you have certain professions, they don't respect it. Go get a job, you broke ass hoe. You need to eat something. You're about to look poor. I think she just learned that there are such things as consequences. It's crazy to me how genuinely puzzled some people look when they find out that your actions have consequences. It's like some people are grown adults and they still don't understand the things you do affect the results you're gonna get. Yeah, you can do OnlyFans and make a quick buck, but people aren't gonna respect you. You're gonna destroy your social life. You're gonna humiliate your parents. And you're gonna give bullies endless fuel to torment your kids. But you know, if you okay with all that, you're an adult. It's not illegal. Do what you want to do. But don't expect society to accept it. Yeah. Right now, yeah. in Australia. But you're yeah. still supporting the murder. That's the thing. I really don't think... I don't think so. I think you're a bit dense. You think I'm dense? Yeah. You're looking pretty dense yourself, I'm sorry to say. But, um... My fucking fat shame, my friend. <laughs> get the fuck what out of here. Fuck? Fucking fatty, get the fuck off. Fuck, fuck away from me. Fuck off. The fuck off me. Single women who are over 50 years old who have been reaching out to me for wife coaching tips, I'm no longer taking them. Don't pay the money through my website because I'm just going to refund it to you. I've had a couple of experiences this week and here's why. Most of you, not all, but 99% of the women who are 53 and older, specifically 53, 55, 57, 59, 61, 64, in those age brackets, have been the most challenging for me to coach because the standards are unrealistically high. I get that you're old school and I get that your mom raised you to only interact with gentlemen, but most of the men who do all of the stuff that you're wanting are dead or they're not looking for 55 or 57 year old women. There are some younger men who do that and you, you don't want an old man because he can't perform in bed. Well, the younger men don't want an older woman because some of you have arthritis, some of you have missing teeth, you have gray hair, you have grandkids. Like, you got to be realistic and balanced in your thinking. So, listen, the other thing is these social media dating sites or whatever you call these things, these I've seen modernized female whores in those sites, meeting strange men, having sex with them. You don't know them. And I'm talking about women of God. 
you've got to make some shifts and some changes in how you think and how you process if you want to be married. Now, if you just want to be somebody's jump off and you just want to be somebody's cougar, 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 or somebody's fun girl. It is her literal job to coach women on how to be good wives. Do you know how much of a headache you have to be for somebody to say, I don't even want to take your money? And a middle name for you? B. What's that stand for? These nuts. No. <laughs> 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 My girlfriend just broke up with me for spending my own fucking money. Every week I buy this bitch whatever she wants, spend thousands of dollars on her, and the one time I spend a hundred dollars on a prostitute. I beg your pardon? It was a normal age 50 years ago to start a family, and now women are taught that they should go work for 10 years. Why do you want to get family? Just find someone else. Bruh, not no, me. it's, it's not with you. It, I, it's 100% not with you. You're not even attractive or confident enough to put your face on the camera. Fuck okay, I don't care. If you don't care, I mean, it's not an argument about you particularly. It's about women in the West who believe that they need to sit in an office and waste their youth serving a man at a corporation rather than start a family and serve their husband. I don't care. No. You don't care, but I'm telling you the truth, and you're going to remember this conversation when you're 32 with a bunch of cats. Bye. Exactly. I'm 27 and I see the shift. Almost all the women that I knew in my early 20s that wanted to be strong and independent got hit with bills and now all of a sudden they want to be a housewife. The only problem is most of them don't know how to be housewives because it's a skill they never thought they needed to know. Why did the transgender man only eat salad? I don't know. Because he was a her before. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So women want to date older men because they're more mature and emotionally intelligent. Men want to date younger women because they're naive and easily manipulated. Which is it? Are these women mature and emotionally intelligent or are they naive and easily manipulated? If these men are creeps, but the women are attracted to them, by your own definition, these women are attracted to creeps. So again, which is it? Are these younger women and older men more emotionally compatible? Or are the men too emotionally intelligent for them and using that power to manipulate? Please just pick a logical side. It's just another shaming tactic. Older men like younger women because they're more fertile and they have less baggage. Younger women like older men because they tend to be more financially stable. Hey. You can skip me if you want to. No, 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 no. <laughs> Honestly, you're actually quite attractive. <laughs> okay, okay. But you got that witch broomstick on your head so we can't run. Hey, yo. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Wait, so what's the rating? Zero. Yo, everyone's just catching zeros. This is a problem. Ah! I literally can't open it. Let me see if I just want to see if I can open it. That sounds is like important. you're giving birth in here. I couldn't either. Hold on. I'm very strong. <laughs> we cannot open the star. Let's see if Scott can. I'm stronger than Scott. Who is it? I'm sure he got it open because they loosened it up for him. Everybody's strong and independent until you gotta grab something on the top shelf or open a pickle jar. What are you saying? Smash your bus. Oh, I'm sorry. You saying bus? White bus. The wig. Oh! You don't like the wig? Yeah. Damn. I'm gonna get it closer. <laughs> Let me get close up, he's crazy. Oh! Oh, she's okay. she, she trying to do something to you, I can't lie. Don't kill me. So my friend told me the reason why Saudi Arabia has so much money is not just because of oil, but because uh, they don't let their women spend it. Am I right or am I right? You'll see like these girls being like, oh, at least I'm never going to be the vanilla wife. Let me tell you a beautiful story. A man and a woman get married. She is faithful to him and he loves her unconditionally. This is how they tricked all the women into, into leaving their, their cushy lives at home so that they could freaking inflate all the wages so that dude, no one can afford dude, anything. If that's <laughs> our schizo mind, dude, I think that that is- not there, schizo. No, it's not schizo, but like other people would think it is. Dude, that is such a fact. Imagine being told that you're being oppressed because you get to stay home and raise your children. We'll need to go to work and not be able to afford to have children anymore. The average house is about two times the size as they were in 1950, but people are having about half as many kids. So basically capitalism has taught people that they should work their entire lives to afford a big, pretty much vacant house. And this exactly why I say get the prenup, not even for men, for women too. Like I get it, that's my baby, that's my soulmate, my ride or die for five years, that's what he thought. Then out of nowhere, she try to leave and take half his shit. Like, I never understood the the whole, like, oh, prenups are so offensive. Like, when I talk to girls and they, oh, you know, marriage and kids, the first thing I say is, you know you signing a prenup, right? Oh, but Lewis, that's so offensive. I'm in it for you, not the money. If you in it for me and you only in it for me and the love, a prenup should not be a big deal. 
Like, you should not be taking half of my shit. Whatever you walk into the relationship with is what you walk out of. Like, a lot of people might not agree with me, and that's okay. All I got to say is, look, losing a girl is bad. But losing a girl and your money, that's even worse. <laughs> just lose the bitch like i'm not gonna lie to you how'd you meet your current husband bill higgins i proposed to him first week i met him yeah i wasn't gonna I mess around you. there was a husband in between who i also proposed to too quickly <laughs> on a step what's in your mind he goes what do you mean what's in my mind well you're gonna marry me or not i proposed to both husbands before i slept with them maybe i'm an old-fashioned girl you give away the goods you have less power but you're not that old-fashioned because you're the woman proposing to men well, that's not old-fashioned. Do you think more women should propose? Why not propose? You see what you want? You ask him to marry you. Yeah. I don't know what the big deal is. Well, it's a you weird... You lie to your mother and say he, met, he proposed he to propo me. Now, me personally, I wouldn't want a woman to propose to me because it seems a little bit forced. But to be fair, it makes more sense than just sleeping with random men and hoping that one day one of them is going to marry you. Till next time.